If you're familiar with Google Forms, you may have noticed that lately it has a new look. So I'm going to show you very quickly how you can still do some of the things that you've always done in Forms, just using a different format. So I'm in my drive, and I am going to go to New, go down to More, and then click on Google Forms. Now, just like with anything in a uh, Google document, Google Slides, whatever it is, the first thing I need to do is give this a form, or excuse me, give this a title. So right here where it says Untitled Form, I am going to type in Hangout Preferences. What I need to do is find out when a group of people would like to get together for a Google Hangout. And this will be faster for me to poll them than to send out several invitations and then see if they're available or not. So where it says form description, I'm going to type that in. All right, so my first question, I want to know who is filling out this form? All right, and then right here where it says multiple choice, I'm going to change this so it says short answer. So now they've got a small little field there so they can type in their name. Now I can choose if I want this to be required or not. And now I need to put in some of those times, so I'm going to click on the plus sign. And where it says question, I'm going to type in what date and time do you prefer. This time I'm going to leave this multiple choice. Now, I've got some different choices here. I could do the paragraph, which would be a long answer. I could do check boxes if I wanted them to choose more than one. Or I could do a drop down, so maybe there's a choice of times. So drop down or multiple choice would really work for what I'm doing. And then you can see here there are additional ones. I'm just going to leave that multiple choice. And then right here where it says option one, I'm going to type in those times. So I'm going to go over here to my calendar and see what those are. We have February 8th at 3.30. Okay, right here, I'm going to put in my next one. This is February 10th at 9 p.m. And then right here, I'm going to add my last one. And this one is going to be February 13th at 2 p.m. All right, now that's all I needed right there for this. So if I wanted to add additional questions, I could. I could put in titles, images, YouTube videos, whatever I needed. But for this, this is, this is all I want to do. Now, you notice over here I've got this little stick figure. If I click on this, then it will go back to the old Google Forms, the one that I might be more familiar with. But this is all I needed to do, so I'm going to click right here where it says Preview and see if I like this. Yeah, that's okay, but I would prefer to not have this purple background. So right here where it says color palette, I could choose my different color background, but I do like to put in an image or put in a theme. So I click there on the picture, and then I can choose from all of these different themes. There's lots of different ones right here. And then I also have some of my own pictures in here. Let me find the right one. Here's the one I want. So I'm going to click on that, and then I will hit select, and there it is. It has changed, and now if I click up here where it says preview, you can see that not only did my image change here, but the background of the form was changed to try to color coordinate with my image that I uploaded. Now what I will do is send this to my students so they can choose what their preference is and I have a couple of different options. I'm going to go ahead and click where it says send and then I can send it via email or 
I can get the link, which is normally what I do. And then I even have this option right here where I can shorten the URL. So now it is a shortened version. And then I could also embed that. All right, so I'm going to close that right now. This is perfect. It's exactly what I need. And that's all you need to know for the new forms.